this is Leo uh, from Lee Time. Uh, today I gotta show you uh, how to make your own uh, rosemary uh, essential oil and a hydrosol uh, by using the dry uh, rosemary needle. Um, rosemary uh, essential oil or a hydrosol is very good to uh, soothe your cold or flu syndrome. Uh, it's very good for the season right now. Uh, and also it's very uh, um, helpful to build a healthy hair or scalp uh, and uh, relieve your pain, the muscle pains. Um, so I'm going to use uh, our the lead time uh, distiller uh, to make, uh, to demonstrate uh, um, the process. And um, as I said, I'm using the dry uh, rosemary needle. Of course, if you have a fresh uh, rosemary, uh, that'll be uh, even better. Um, but uh, yeah, it's even use a dry uh, uh, rosemary, you can also get a very good product. Um, about the, our lead time uh, uh, distiller, we have a, a um, it's very simple. Uh, it has a, a steamer, uh, I call it a steamer. Uh, that's where the flower or the rosemary will get in getting here uh, and I include a, a tea kettle. Um, so it, after boiling, you have a, it generates a steam. Steam will pass through the flour and come over here and it goes through this condenser. Um, so then you can put an ice cube here and then you can collect your the product, including the hydrosol and uh, essential oil. Um, so our distiller has two different size. Uh, one is a 500 milliliter size. It's a bigger size. Uh, so it's a good starter kit to make your own um, uh, some essential oil. And uh, also if you, uh, if you are a hydrosol lover, uh, you may want to start with this uh, 300 milliliter size. Um, so, okay, I'm going to show you uh, the step-by-step -step, uh, uh, the process to make uh, uh, rosemary essential oil and hydrosol. The first step is uh, add a um, purified water uh, into the kettle. I use my uh, filter water. Um, so just adding the water until we uh, reach the maximum level or about one liter. Second step is uh, add a rosemary into the steamer. Um, just add them in. To add uh, almost to the uh, to the lower line, um, that's the max. Um, and then so we close it, close the lid. So now, so this steamer is ready. Third step is um, just push this um, on the uh, kettle. And also you connect this tube with a condenser. Now it's ready to go. So just uh, turn on the heat and, uh, uh, and then collect the products. Here. When I uh, collect the essential oil, uh, I use a, a funnel. This is called a, a oil and a water uh, separator. Uh, we have this uh, product, uh, it's, uh, it's on the way uh, uh, to the warehouse. Um, so, so what it works is uh, you have all the product into this uh, funnel. And then the oil, because it's uh, lighter, so it will flow on the top. And the hydrosol, the, uh, it will uh, sit at the bottom. So when it uh, keep collecting the, the product, so the, the level goes up, so until they reach this level, so the hydrosol will come out from here, and then the, will leave the essential oil uh, on the top in this funnel. Um, so later on I will show you uh, how to use it. Now the water is boiling. Um, so you can see the steam is coming out and getting into the condenser. And then it will flow up 
to here. So now I'm going to add a, the ice ice cube. And also on uh, the same time, I gotta add a little bit of water uh, just to help uh, the ice has a, a better connection um, with the coil. Show you this. Um, so you see the cloudy uh, color. Uh, the actually those are the oil uh, droplets. A little oil drops uh, it dispersed in the water. Um, when the settle, you will see they will go up to the to the top. And so you see on the side of the the little. Uh, uh, tubing so that's the uh, hydrosol is uh, coming out um, trying to zoom in uh, to, to show you the uh, oil drops and uh, some of the oil already uh, uh, stay on the top so now about uh, 20 minutes uh, distillation in the meantime I add about uh, five times uh, ice cubes and also use a scoop scoop the hot water out um, so now see there are uh, a little bit oil on the top I'm going to stop it um, going to stop it so you have a better view so you can see a little bit oil on the top and this side this is a, a hydrosol and um, so you can use it, the hydrosol and also uh, collect the uh, essential oil hey uh, I also want to show you uh, the rosemary uh, after the distillation um, so of course you always uh, wear the uh, protection uh, glove uh, because it's hot obviously um, so what I'm gonna do, do is um, open it so this is uh, what it looked like um, and it also is gonna Because it's a steam distillation, so it's not wet at all. So it, because only the steam pass it, uh, of, of course, is they are very hot. Um, but there, um, if I smell it, uh, it doesn't smell like it was in the beginning uh, because the essential power has been carried out, uh, extracted by the steam and. Uh, and then uh, go into the uh, essential oil and a hydrosol. Um, but it's interesting, you know, I want to show you uh, what it look like. And uh, also, um, if you have a chance to do it at home, uh, you can try by yourself as well. Uh, it, it will be imagined to see uh, the change of the um, um, herbs or flowers during the steam distillation. So, okay, so today I uh, uh, demonstrate the process to make uh, uh, rosemary essential oil and a hydrosol from a uh, uh, dried rosemary needle um, by using our uh, lead time uh, uh, distiller. Uh, so it, it has a steamer, the kettle, and a condenser. Um, so if you have a question, just uh, contact me uh, by leaving a message here. 
uh, in the meantime, we plan to uh, uh, have uh, uh, more videos about making uh, essential oil or hydrosol uh, by using flour or fruit, uh, like uh, 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 orange peel or lemon peel uh, to make those uh, DIY uh, hydrosol and essential oil. Um, thank you for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we want to uh, get a more subscriber uh, like you. Uh, thank you.